Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to install Android 14 G apps on vanilla build of Android 14 custom ROMs. Also I'm tell what is the process for encrypted users and what is the process for decrypted users. So I will cover this both processes in this one video. So watch the video till the end and if you're new on this channel then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time let's begin. Okay, before move on the process, one important point, uh, if you don't have any other phone or PC, then you need to download G apps on your present device, right? So without any browser, you can't download any G apps. So you need to install any uh, browser like Firefox or Opera mini in the form of APK, because as we can see here, it is, I'm using C Android Roam and it is a vanilla build and I don't have any browser. Okay. So if I don't have any browser on my device, so I can't download G apps, right? Or you can download G apps without installing vanilla build. I mean, if you using any previous ROM, so download that uh, G apps on your SD card, pen drive or internal storage. Okay. And note that if you're encrypted user, then make sure you need to download G apps and ROM on your SD card, put it on your SD card or pen drive. Okay. So open your browser. Uh, whatever you are using okay then simply search nick g apps after that go on this site i will provide the link of this site on description okay then click on this download now then as we can see here it is three options is present so click on release option so here it is that release option is there okay now we need to click on g apps u okay so as we can see nick here it is this is add-ons so we no need we not need to download this add-ons just we need to download this nick g apps u u means android 14 code name so simply click on nick g apps u after that here it is always note always note that uh, download latest date version of g apps okay so here it is the latest date i clicked on it after that uh, download this core version of g apps okay if you don't want extra g apps I mean, if you don't want all of the G apps uh, and you just only play store and Google play services. So download this core version. Okay. So click on core version and download that G apps. And also note that if you download core G apps, so your uh, AOSP dialer is not replaced by Google dialer. So that is a benefit for you. You can record calls without announcement because, uh, in AOSP dialer, there is no announcement, right? So better if you go for core version. So I am going to download core version because I need core version G apps. So simply I click on core version G apps, but if you want high version G apps, then you can go for this full stock. Okay. So according to your desired requirement. So I already download this uh, core G apps on my device and I am a decrypted user. So if you don't understand what is decrypted device and encrypted device, I will provide one link on description of the video. So you can uh, watch that video after you will get the point. What is the meaning of encrypted user or decrypted user? Okay. So presently I am a decrypted user right now. Okay. So, and I want, I don't want extra G apps. I want only little bit. I mean, many minimum G apps. I mean, uh, just I want a play store or Google play services after that if I want extra G apps then I will download from play store so I'm go for core version so if you want very minim minimum G apps version so go for core version okay so I downloaded core version G apps on my internal storage okay now so what about next so I already downloaded. Okay. And one important point when you click on here, then make sure that your desktop site or browser is enabled. Otherwise it's not be downloaded. It is not be downloaded. Okay. So also one important point. So you using which browser that browser supports desktop site. Okay. So here it is the downloading process started when you click on this, um, core version and when you enable the desktop site. Okay. So I already downloaded, so I am not repeating and I'm not going to download again. Okay. So let's move on the flashing process. So 
here it is I downloaded two files so as we can see here it is this is a gapps which is I shown right now and here it is the ROM so uh, one important point uh, download ROM and gapps both because when you are going to flash make sure that flash both the files at the same time simultaneously uh, if you do like that then you not face any crashing issues on gapps because clean flash is mandatory clean flash gives you good result okay so my device is um, decrypted if you don't know how to check your device is encrypted or decrypted go on security go on this uh, more security and privacy and as we can see if we noticed encryption and credential here it is the phone is not encrypted that means my device is decrypted okay so if you are encrypted don't worry I will tell the process how to install this G apps on encrypted device also on decrypted device but note in one important point if you are an encrypted user then you uh, need to put this G apps and ROM on your SD card or pen drive because we need to do format data and format data wipe all internal storage so this is very mandatory point okay so let's uh, boot our device on recovery mode after that I will show you how to install this G apps okay my device is booted on recovery okay I decrease some brightness because it is very high brightness okay now talking about the installation so first of all note important point uh, if your device is encrypted then you can't access your internal storage uh, here it is a random numbers random letters is showing so make sure that I already told you if you're encrypted user then put ROM and uh, G apps on your SD card or pen drive right because we can't access the internal storage so how can we flash right now then now uh, my device is decrypted that's why my internal storage is not uh, encrypted and no showing any random letters like that so if you're decrypted users so don't worry but if you're encrypted users, then you need to take one extra more step that is put the files on SD card or pen drive okay let's move on the process so first of all I will show the process for encrypted users so how to do that so first of all go on wipe section okay after coming on wipe section just take this Dalvik catch system vendor data and swipe it okay um, wipe the partition according to your device requirement that means follow your uh, telegram tg support group where your flashing guide is present I mean your which ROM you are going to flash that ROM flashing guide is present so follow that ROM flashing guide okay maybe your device is dynamic then you need to wipe Dalvik catch and metadata so like that so different device have different wipe section partitions so follow according to your um, flashing guide ROM flashing guide okay after wiping these partitions go on install section and first of all we need to uh, flash the firmware as I previously told you follow the flashing guide according to your devi uh, device requirement okay okay after flashing firmware so first step one is completed first flashed firmware then the main important steps uh, select room so I am going to flash this CR droid vanilla build after that select the G apps okay after selecting this both files just swipe it and these both files going to flash one by one just wait for some seconds okay I'm going to forward this video because it will take some time right okay I forwarded the video so here it is as we can see the both the files flashed successfully ROM and G apps now flashed successfully without any errors now go back and for encrypted users what we need to do okay go on wipe section click on format data and here it is we need to write just yes and tab on write button which is present on keyboard okay for encrypted users we need to do this okay it is mandatory okay after clicking uh, write button of the keyboard the phone is formatted then click on reboot then your device is started successfully without any issue okay okay this is for encrypted users now talking about decrypted users so decrypted user no need to flash uh, no need to do format data just decrypted user need to flash this dfe file this is a disc uh, decrypt uh, disable force encryption file so after flashing this file just click on reboot system 
your device is going to boot successfully without any issue okay note that decrypt only this file is uh, flash only decrypted users don't flash encrypted users otherwise your device is on maybe your device stuck on logo so note this point this file is only for decrypted users okay so after uh, successfully install this dfe file just click on reboot system and after some time the rom is booted successfully and device is started okay my phone is started successfully and here it is as we can see setup screen is here so i will set up instantly for of okay as we can see rom setup is successfully completed and when i open the app section as we can see here it is the play store is here that means g apps is installed successfully so this is the process this is the video for installing g apps on android 14 vanilla build custom roms you can follow this same method for any android version just you need to select the uh, that version of uh, g apps for that which is compatible for that android version for android 13 for android 12 whatever you are uh, using rom so follow the steps carefully okay so if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video